Back home safe and well, 15-month-old Reggie is lucky to be alive. After slipping through this makeshift gate, he ended up on the canal bank in Nottingley, a few metres from his garden. He was spotted by teenager Riley, who was out walking his dog. We could see a kid here and he was playing in grass and uh, so I said we'll walk round off that bridge and come and get him and then I just looked at dogs and 20s in and I turned round and, and I just could see his legs, just, just, he was just sinking. Without hesitation, Riley took off his coat and shoes and dived straight into the water. When I first got him, he was calm, he was in shock, but then for about five, ten seconds, he was thrashing about, and like, it was hard to keep hold of him and try and get my hand up there. Uh, and I was trying to tread water at the same time, and I couldn't because he was thrashing about, and then and I was like, oh, I've got you, I've got you, all right, you're all right. Neighbour Trevor Dan was in his conservatory when he heard shouts for help. If Riley hadn't have been there, I'm pretty sure that little lad would have gone, you know. He was already under when Riley got to him, and Riley had to fish around under the water. In a kind of way, I just felt so emotional about it when it happened and I'd, I'd go around, I'd, I'd, I shook his hand, I hugged him and then afterwards, it wasn't until the police come to the door that I remembered we'd got COVID-19 going on, you know. The toddler's mum hadn't realised what was going on. It went so quick, to be honest, because I just... One at Neighbours had said to me, your boy's in canal and then that was it. And my heart ripped out. <laughs> Thanks to Riley's actions, Reggie was given the all-clear at hospital. Now many people in the town are describing him as a hero. Proud, very yeah, proud. Very proud of him. And everybody keeps saying he just went straight in, he didn't even hesitate. He's a little star. We've got a, a local hero in the town who's really stepped up and uh, done something so selfless and brave. It's really inspiring for people here. Uh, the entire town sort of got behind him um, and it's just been really heartening. I think he's amazing. I can't thank him enough. No money in the world. I like cover for what he's done. No gift in the world will ever cut, you know, for what he's done. I, can, I just can't thank him enough. I don't really see the reality of it. Like everyone else is like making a really big thing about it, but really, I just did what anyone else would do in that situation. Are <laughs> you smiling now? <laughs> you had to go for a swim, didn't you? Riley, who's looking for a job as a trainee electrician, has had a GoFundMe page set up by residents as a thank you but he says he won't be keeping the money. Instead, he's donating it to the NHS. Ian White, BBC Look North, Nottingley. Oh, thanks, Ian. Well done, Riley, as well.